Okay, so here's a good image to practice on background replacement for your still life. Um, so I'm going to just take this right out of um, Lightroom. I'm just going to check one thing. No, I, I want to leave it like that. And I right click, I edit, and I go into Photoshop. And it should come up here in just a moment. There it is. I always double click the lock or just click the lock to uh, unlock the layer. And then I'm going to just click select and click the color range and try to match in shadows, which is basically black, uh, most of the, the background. And it's probably not going to be there 100%. So, you know, I think I'm just going to probably try to try it with a quick selection tool first oh you know what i was going to try here let's try this select subject up here so you have to have one of these selection tools um click clicked on uh, selected and then just click on select subject and let's see how good of a job it does yeah that's perfect that's really really good so um That really did a nice job of selecting the uh, all the peppers, and I'm going to just bunch that one out a little bit. There's a little bit of an area here, and just go like really, you know, easy, soft, iterative clicks on this, because see, right like that, it will just kind of take over on you. All right, so then what I do is I'm going to hit select and inverse because I don't want to change the colors of the peppers right now. I want to just deal with this, you know, background. Um, also remembering that we want to leave a little bit of um, texture. So let's try a couple of things first. First, I'm going to try a hue and saturation layer. And I'm just going to try to take down the lightness and look at that. That's all I had to do. And as I can see, right down at the bottom, right here, I've got some issues that I may have to do some uh, some work with. Um, so that's one way to do it. You could probably drop the saturation, but that's not going to take the, the lightness out. The, the, the dropping of the lightness or the luminance is one of the better ways to go all right so there's there's one way um, i'm going to command click on this again and then i'm just going to turn off that layer and the other way i'm going to try is uh, going to be a, um, a a solid color fill okay so it just comes up in solid color uh, i've got black selected which is what we wanted to use and i'm just going to click ok um, I'm going to go down here and change this blending mode to probably something like overlay or lighten. If I go overlay and then drop the opacity just a little bit, it will probably allow for some of those ripples in the blanket to come through and help us out there. But uh, as you can see, I've got some issues right here that I might want to just kind of paint out. So let me grab some, uh, let me grab some black paint, or I'm sorry, some white paint. And I'm just going to, oops, let's undo that. And I'm just going to grab this and just kind of, really all I'm doing is just kind of smoothing out that selection. That's not bad right there. And I can do the same thing with that other thing that I did a few minutes ago. Uh, if I just click on the right part of the mask, here we go. Yeah, that's a nice, much, much smoother part of the selection. Um, so. And then you can do the same thing um, with some of these. Um, oh, nope, that's not going to work. All right, so what we've got to do here then is we've got to go in and, and do a clone a clone layer and um, just doctor some of these up. So I'm going to add a, a blank layer right here above the main layer. 
and um, I can just double click on the title and call it clone and then go grab my clone tool and I can just do some really really easy touch-ups here so I, I hold down the uh, the alt or the option button and I take a sample click and then I'm just painting right here I'm going to do the same thing here sample click same thing over here this area right here it looks like it's in the mask so I might just need to paint through yeah that's what it was do enough of these to kind of get to know what's going on okay I'm back to the clone tool and I'm just doing some painting so there is a good example of how to leave a little bit of texture in and uh, still how to have your main subject um, uh, looking good and have the background uh, pretty black you can go all black if you wanted to um, but um, you don't you don't I don't know that you need to um, you could if you wanted to but I don't know that you need to so I hope that helps um, let's see if there's another image let me close this down and save it let's see if there's another image I can show you real quick and uh, you know I'm going to go to the other flowers that we were working with um, the one day yeah okay so yeah here is a good one oh, where to go okay so here here this one right here okay so here we've got the flower very distinctive it's out there and here we've got this background so let's right click on this from Lightroom or you uh, just double click on it in bridge and I click off the lock and I am just gonna select um, with my selection tool on quick selection tool selected I'm going to click select subject and it should pretty well know the flower and it did a pretty good job I think I need to go in there and just uh, make some refinements I'm going to make a real small selection tool here and I'm just going to go alt there we go that's one click same thing here alt right in there Okay, let me just bring that out a little bit. All right, so what do I do? Oops, wait a minute. I got some more here. Let's get that one. Let's get that one. And then we'll, might as well get the stem here. Oh, see that went kind of haywire on me. Let me do undo. And undo. And I'm going to grab the lasso tool and just do a select. Oops. Whoa, what, what? What happened there? That's weird. Oh, okay. I hit the hit the shift button and I'm just painting down here. Okay, so I'm holding down the shift button is what I'm doing. And that's giving me a pretty decent selection. Let's see if I can. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try the hue saturation layer one more time. First thing I've got to do though is click inverse. So I've got the background done click file hue and saturation and just drop down the luminosity the lightness and look at that that pretty much took care of everything now we've got a little painting back to do of the stem um, and we're going to paint in black it's not hard 
because we're dealing with black it's it's a it's a pretty easy one so there you go that looks pretty good um one uh, one layer i could do the same thing again if i wanted to in um, with my uh, solid color fill and uh, it grabs black and and uh, it's on a normal uh, blending mode which is fine um, normal is is okay um, i can grab uh, another one do soft light or something like that it really doesn't matter with this one um, and then what i probably would do to work on this because the flower to me is a little bit overexposed i'm going to convert this to a smart object by right clicking right there and then um, wait for it to convert. What that does for me is just let me um, make any other changes that I need to. Click filter, click camera raw filter. You can see that the background's there, but that's all right because you know we're just working in this one layer. I'm gonna bring the highlights down and I might bring the whites down. Yeah, let's bring the whites down. And let's see what happens if we do something with the shadows. That's oh, that's pretty nice. Clarity up. We want it a little bit sharper. And there we go. And then once it goes through its its uh, configuration, that's what you get. So um, this is before, and this is after. And um, you know you may like that, you may not. You may want to try something different, but. Um, that's how you do your background fill. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.